I know, Chanley, there was also a viral post going around about some audio from the crime scene on the night of those murders. What's up, guys? True Crime King back. How we doing? Hope everybody is okay today. Um, it's Friday, so put, the, put a smile on your face. Weekend's coming. But anyway, all right. So uh, we're going to revisit that audio, that ring audio from the night of the Idaho murders, okay? And we're going to see if we can uh, make it out. Um, I know a lot of people were trying to say this this was has been debunked, but uh, it it lines up perfectly uh, with the, with the timeline. Uh, it's right at like four seventeen a.m. Uh, I'm gonna take another listen for myself and you guys as well, and let let's see what we can uh, gather from this. So here we go. What do we know about that? Yeah. That's right. If anyone has been following this case closely, especially online and social media, TikTok, Facebook, you probably noticed a viral post, multiple viral Hold on. At 4.17 a.m., this audio was picked up on the Northwest, on, uh, yeah, I guess, the neighbor's uh, security camera. Viral post regarding alleged audio. Remember me? All right. So... Uh, the red circle here, okay, that's where the ring cam apparently is, and the other red circle, that's, uh, the, I guess the closest, uh, what room would that be, so uh, we walk up the stairs, uh, Dylan's room's over here, uh, so this should be, uh, Ethan and Xana's room, right here where this red circle is. the affidavit it says at 4 17 a.m the neighbors uh to my left here have a surveillance video camera that picked up audio yeah okay so uh yeah um dylan's room's back here the kitchen is back here uh ethan and Zana's room is closest to this and then Kaylee and Maddie were in the bedroom up here. Uh, this bedroom here was empty. That, that's pretty close. I mean, look at that. It looks like uh, I would uh, I would estimate about 50 feet, more or less. From Zana Kernodal's room, about 50 feet away. About no, oh, there we go. <laughs> 417 hearing uh, the dog began to bark hearing a loud thud and what sounded like either whispers or whimpering at around 417 during the time of the murders so all right so we're going to be listening for uh whimpering a dog and a loud thud which would presumably be xana's body uh being pulled off the bed um i know that's at least that's what i'm thinking it would be Oh, uh, circulating online are posts like the ones you see on this remember ethan was killed in the doorway and uh, apparently xana was pulled off the bed green of this alleged audio of that surveillance video here and so being on the ground i spoke with the neighbors here paul's going to pan over here how close this home is this blue home that we've seen next to the crime scene where that surveillance video would be i caught the people living there walking out earlier Oh, yeah, I mean, look, look, look how close that is. Uh, and, you know, reference the car, right? Uh, you could probably fit just about two cars in between there. That's pretty close. And they have debunked that audio. It is not the audio from that surveillance the video. So I think that's important to clear up because those posts have gone so viral. But you can see behind me just how close that blue home where that surveillance video would be to Xander Cronoble's room right up there. Okay, so she, she just said that the audio has been debunked. Hold on, let, let's listen to what she just said again. Close that blue home where that surveillance video would be to Xander Cronoble's room right up there on the second floor to be able to pick that up. 
tell me just how close that blue home because those posts have gone so viral. But you know, so I think that's important to clear up because from that surveillance, the video. So I think that's important to clear up because those posts have gone so viral. But you can see behind me just how close that blue home where that surveillance video would be to Xander Cronoble's room right up there on the second floor to be able to pick that up. I don't know exactly which posts, uh, which viral post she's talking about. Um, for, uh, let's see, from my understanding, law enforcement has not commented on the ring cam audio. I believe it is authentic because it sounds consistent with the 4.17 a.m. distorted audio described in the affidavit. Okay, well, we're going to listen for ourselves here in a second. All right, the following is the alleged leaked audio warning. Some may find this audio disturbing. Um, okay. That just sounded like a scream to me. Again, the authenticity of this particular audio clip. Is... Okay, well, real quick, just about that. First of all, you can barely make out anything, right? So, <clears throat> why would somebody make that up, right? Um, it, you can barely make out anything, right? Uh... It's, it sounds to me like you can hear a male scream, uh, probably Ethan, if if it is real, right? Um, I'm pretty sure I did hear a, the dog bark, right? Uh, other than that, you can't really uh, make out too much other stuff. Let's see what else. Okay, yeah, 
that that scream uh, freaks me out. If that is legit, that is uh, that's a that would, that's like a death scream, right? Uh, somebody was afraid for their life, and most likely that was Ethan, right? The subtitles, uh, that could be what they're saying, uh, let me out, but we'll never know for sure, right? Um, I don't know, that, it sounds pretty real to me, right? Uh, again, that would be, why would somebody make that up, right? You, you can barely, it's not like you can hear uh, clearly what they're saying, right? I think if somebody would have faked that, they would, uh, you know, put something in there that you can clearly hear, right, uh, to, to try and make it uh, actually go more viral, right, and, and try and put some false narrative out there, right, uh, but, but in this, you, you can't really make out anything, right, um, except that scream, that's a, that was, a, that's a chilling scream, right, uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards that. That's authentic uh, audio. Um, you know, I don't know. I guess we'll never know unless it comes out at trial that it that uh, it actually is right. Again, uh, there's a gag order, so I mean the police know if it's real or not, but uh, we won't know until trial. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if it's real, uh, let me know if you, what you guys heard. Um, I thought that was interesting to go back and listen to that again. But, uh, yeah. Um, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so, uh, you don't miss any of my videos. And until next time, guys, True Crime King, out.